What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number three of our Pokemon Sword and Shield Warlock. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, Midnight Wolf. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, if you guys did not see the last episode, be sure to go check out Midnight's channel. Link is in the description. We had our first Warlock, and uh, we got clapped. Like, mad clapped. Uh, Midnight wrecked our house. Um, our team is up on Pokelinks. Midnight, are you ready to get going? I am ready to get going. Let's do it. Uh, hopefully we're going to have another Warlock this episode. Because uh, we need some... Hopefully. Revenge. We should hopefully have something go on. Yeah, we need some revenge. Oh, it's a hot battle. Oh, man. Oh, is there a hot battle? Oh, dear. What's this man saying? Let's just do it. Let's, Let's just do it. it. Just do it. Uh, we're, we're still so under no one higher than level 25. Yeah. Um, so we got to be careful with that. got to be very careful because it's um, going to be pretty darn close. Out. Wooloo is coming out. Okay, so I'll like hunt. All right, uh, we're gonna just do. Let's just let's just do this. I just need to modify my poker links because apparently this one doesn't have quacky. It doesn't have quacky. So it doesn't have quacky on it. Oh no! So I'm gonna try this. That doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> Gonna have a look at some different options whilst battling hot. Um, this could be interesting. Ooh. We need to figure out. Um, we're looking for an, an item. But I don't know if I can just find it randomly in the dang um, wild area. Do you know what item you're. Are you willing to share what item you're looking for? A Thunderstone. Uh, oh, I have absolutely no idea. Okay, I've got a level 23. Okay, this one looks that like it works better. Um, Corvus Squire. I can switch to... Good let's damage. Go right, let's... Nice. Good job, Drago. Fix you. Ooh. Actually, I'm really digging that. Move. Hopefully, this is gonna work. Okay, why did you only copy that much? Uh, I think I checked Thunderbolt first, so I'm just gonna click that. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of the time mm. where I literally just sat there editing. <laughs> For um, a video, oh wow, that's really distorted. The thwacky looks so weird. Does it really? It it, it looks so yeah, it's so randomly distorted. It's actually really funny. In Pokelinks? In Pokelinks, yeah. Wild. So I've gone for circles. Just trying to Don't pick hit me with round place. reboot. Yeah, I don't think you're living that hit. Oh wow, wow you did. That's and kind of a shock. Sending up Thwacky. What do I want to do? Thwacky. Um. I totally forgot that your opponent picks the weaker Pokemon or the weaker type matchup. Yeah. To make the champion battle harder. Oh, true, true. I really wish we had the evil rival schematic. Yeah. I really liked, like, the the bad, mean rival. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having two rival, like, a second rival in the game. Right. Like, you've got a hop, and then you've got another one, like, kind of like B, but just that has the same as... Like, it has a starter. Yeah. I really, you know what I, you know what I thought was a fail? That Paul wasn't in the Diamond and Pearl games. Yeah. Because that guy was cold. Like, but, the entire time. Yeah, but I suppose he was an afterthought, really, wasn't he? Like, yeah. But yeah, he was a really good rival. Like, every time in the show that he showed up as a kid, I was always like, oh man, this dude's like about to whoop Ash. He's like, about to he take some names. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, Archer's evolving. Alright, Archer. I'm gonna change you up on some Pokey Links. Um, oh, I got a revive. Oh, I, I forgot what the name of the stone bird is. 
That's it. Boom. Um, I need to be very careful with my Pokemon now, because we are getting so close to level 25. There we go. I'm, I'm using the Pokemon that are not helpful in the gym at all to grind up my other ones. Yeah, I'm kind of switch training a little bit with my PC. Right, let's get on the bike. Oh, there's a bike in here. What's that? Again? A feather! A resist feather! I don't know what it is. A what? A what? There's an Elder Goss floating through. What? Oh, what yeah, yeah. I've that? seen that before. Oh, wow. I never knew that. But you can encounter it, it, as well. it just. Jesus. It just flies. It just flies. Not a care in the world. Yep, it just passed me right there. Alright. Anything? No items there. What's a. Uh... We're gonna skip that trainer for now because I just want to see. Okay, we're right here at the town. Okay. Oh, cotton down. I've never. Okay, I've never seen cotton down used. It hit a sing? What? You never hit sing. 55 accuracy. 55 accuracy. Hit a 55 accuracy move. Must feel nice. I mean, most of the time, I can't even hit a door wing beat, which is like 95. <laughs> Might be 90, but... I am going to quickly get through this. I think we have a bead match coming. Yes, maybe. I know we have some story stuff where we go and see Rose in a restaurant. I remember that much. Yeah, he's in that little... Thank goodness the restaurant is, like, literally right here at the entrance as well. Yes. Yeah, because there's one in, like, Sir Sister or whatever it's called. Mm hmm And, like, I could not find it for the life of me. Yeah. Like, I had to go into every single building. I think it was one of the last buildings I went in. Honestly, these cities are really well done, too. Mm. Oh, he says after the gym badge, come join him. Oh, okay. That's good. That's a relief. I mean, I'm not really check. anywhere near that point just yet, so... Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just All battling right. the Cherubi woman. Okay. So you have to go to the lighthouse before you get to her. Oh, okay. Yep, I just want to get all this story stuff done so I can go train for just a little bit <laughs> right before we battle her. Yeah, I suppose I'm doing a little bit of the opposite. potions there's Nessa I'm gonna grab that electro web right there oh Charlotte was it gonna be like as a Gavantula Charlotte would have been a huge help later on <laughs> could have set sticky webs up on you could have done a oh, lot of stuff oh yeah I didn't realize you had the sticky web set yeah you, you sniped a really good one actually <laughs> for, like, for our 6v6 yeah I was thinking more like currently it's not because it's Joltik's fa fairly frail. Oh yeah. I mean, even Galvantula's pretty frail as well. My friend. I mean, you will probably get your own back in the second one. <laughs> well, we're about to see. We're about to see. Uh, where are we at? Okay, this is the train station. I don't really need. Any, I don't really remember any other items up here. Um, I am gonna go check really quick this little store down here. Uh, there's an item right here. X defend. Don't really need that either, though. Oh, I cannot remember this music. <laughs> Huge. She must do a trade, okay. Hmm. Ooh, I can get this. Also, why is Rose wearing, like, a jumper and shorts? It's just a really weird combination of clothes. <laughs> Sure, we're gonna scoop up. Also, I don't know how his assistant manages to live in those heels. They're like four yeah. inches. They are actually huge. She just likes to hang out. Yeah. 
we are going to add this is actually one of my favorite items that I just picked up for <laughs> and I usually use it uh, specifically for um, Sableye okay All right, now that we got all that out of the way, we're gonna heal. We're gonna go fight those other two trainers over there, and then we got a gym match to go do. Just having to look at the shops. What do you want to say? Uh, no. Oh, she just told me about the Pokemon that's at Wedgehurst Station. Oh, really? I think she's talking about... The Galarian Slothop. Oh, oh yeah. Nice one. Oh, I found two super potions. Wow. You know something that's really disappointing about this town? Hmm. You can't go in the lighthouse. Yeah. I feel like that would have been a nice place to go. Actually, I think you were absolutely right. That would have been really nice um it kind of dropped the ball there on that and then we got two toxtricity statues again hmm. so a statue of a pokemon that's said to have protected the lighthouse but they, they just seems to be some kind of story involved with toxtricity that was never explained right all right i can get this up one more level and then we're going to have to box it. But so long as I get my other mons up, I think we're going to be okay. Um, let me just go ahead and move you here. Now, if I run into a situation where I have to switch, we'll do it. Alright. Let me know when you are ready to go into the gym. Uh, I am just going to do some very quick training. Perfect. And then I will be ready. It is crazy how close together these two batches are. Yeah. Like, you've literally got a bridge, and that's it. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, no. It's all cotton candy. That didn't do nothing. That didn't do nothing. That didn't do nothing. Level 90. Why are these, like, relatively high-leveled mons? Just right here, ready, ready to fight. I mean, I am currently burning some candy floss. Which I can't that, imagine. Oh, wow, very the nice. over here. I had no idea. All right, I, I got a story for you. Ready? I'll go for it. Uh, the cage match back in the day. Back when uh, we did four, the uh, four-way cage match. Mind you, it was uh, first Pokemon per route, everything, right? The whole yeah. nine. Um, so we had a ton of wild area encounters, a ton of other stuff. So right before the uh, fourth gym match, I scooped up a Wobbuffet from um, Ryan's town, right? Right, right outside yeah. Ryan's town, there was a Wobbuffet in the wild area. I yeah. caught it. I named him Bag. Okay? Right. I found me a focus sash and slapped the old focus sash on bag and uh you know kind of thought to myself okay this might come in handy well I get into the uh gosh darn ghost gym match right yeah I send bag out against G Max Gengar okay I use mirror move Gengar hits me takes me down to 1 HP mirror move kills Gengar oof yeah had I not had that on me App bag would have absolutely been dead. Oh, we love to see that. We absolutely oh, yeah. love to see that one. I'm gonna have to pull that as one of my clips because I was actually like super excited about it. <laughs> All right. There are stuffles. So we got rid of her. Um, gonna scoop that up really quick right there. Um, we're going to ground you. might get a, this might be a little bit of a longer episode for people who are watching. Um, we're going to go, I want to get everybody at least to a minimum of 20 before we go into that gym. Um, her highest level Pokemon is, oh I shoot. I think 24 maybe. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll get this out of that. 
Gotcha. Which makes me think I'm training the wrong Pokemon, but I know that... Uh, does he get max airstream, Dreadnought? Uh, I don't think so. Because a lot so of ones I... lost Aerial Ace. That's right. I think I'm gonna try and get a group of mons to like level 24. Okay. Which will work for the the gym. I think I'm also gonna. Oh, I mean, use the wrong move. Don't do that now. <laughs> get it. I mean, oh, I've no. just like oh, no. I've used flame wheel three times, I think, and I've got to burn two out of those three times. Alright, Steenie, let's see what you got. Are you ready for your match today? Yeah, um, I mean, but, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it's a match that, depending on how I do, depends on whether I get to playoffs or not. So, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see, uh, apparently it's the top seed in the league. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll see. Potentially I'll get into playoffs, potentially not get into playoffs. Oh, well, I wish you the best luck in that. Yeah. I just hope. don't wish you luck in our warlock. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can pull this off. Ooh, that did some damage. Love it. Love to see it. Do you right. think there will be one more uh, update for the uh, sword and shield? Um, I'm not sure to tell you the truth. I'm not sure. But I have I a think... feeling. I reckon there'll be some kind of update which allows for the um, all the Gen Four Pokemon to be integrated, mm -hmm. but I don't think there'll be like a, a like a DLC style no. thing. No, just like a just like a random release from like Pokemon Home or something. Yeah, I think that you'll go alongside that probably. I'd love it's to. Very see interesting DLC. that Legends Arceus isn't going to be like the next Pokemon. Uh, formatted game, if that makes sense. Yeah, I suppose it's kind of a, a side game mm -hmm. in a way, isn't it? So They're still going to have competitive stuff on um, gosh darn Diamond Pro remakes, but I, I it's not going to be like Sword and Shield, I, I guess. Yeah. Which is another odd one too, because well, okay, so Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, when that came out it didn't take away competitive from sword and sh or sun and moon um because sun and moon was still like the top tier competitive stuff but yeah. they had their own little sword and or their own little let's go pikachu let's go eevee um battles and stuff yeah yeah they have their own I, I never got into the competitive scene that one but i know they definitely did have like some kind of scene there it was fun. The competitive, or like, just the battle aspect of that game was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, that is another, that is a game that I wouldn't mind playing again. Um, the last time I played it was literally with, uh, DJ Spinda doing our little, uh, Go Lock. Have oh, you, really? have you done a playthrough with that? Like a specialized playthrough? Uh, I haven't done a specialized playthrough. I mostly use it for, um, shiny hunting, because I really love oh. shiny hunting in that game. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have this shiny charm, though, in that game. I'm not sure if I do. But I'm just, like, I just enjoy, like, the fact that you get overworld shinies. It just makes it so much more entertaining for yeah. me. Yeah. I would like to do that in shiny hunt for a ponytail. I think that was my most recent hunt on there. Did you get it? I don't think I did. I don't okay. think I did. I know I was I shiny hunting Metapod for ages Ooh. um okay. and I sh so i was showing how to metapod i randomly found a shiny pidgey instead i then randomly found a shiny oddish instead okay and then i found a shiny uh, bulbasaur instead so wow. yeah the I, Met metapod did not want to come i will tell you this i shiny hunted rattata for like right off the rip and i got rattata i did a reaction to that and everything yeah um then I found a wild Doduo, not even shiny hunting, it was just there. Wow. Um, and then, actually, no, no, I lied. I think I was shiny hunting uh, Ponyta. 
I think I was shiny, shiny hunting ponytail. Yeah. And I, I, a, a random shiny to do showed up. Mm. But then, um, I was finishing the playthrough, going through Victory Road, and a wild Machop showed up. Oh, wow. And a wild Geodude showed up, like, literally back-to-back. Damn, that's crazy. That is yeah. really crazy. The uh, shiny look in that. And I didn't even have the shiny charm. Yeah, that's... That, that kind of reminds me of the, um... I, I think it's on, like, um... AGDQ. I think they mm-hmm. were doing a Let's Go playthrough, and they were talking about shinies and how, like, they just sometimes show up. And there was a in the mansion in the Pokemon mansion a random shiny Raticator Raticator turned up. Wow. I, I wouldn't mind doing a shiny uh, cage lock in that one. That would be pretty cool. That It'd would be, be fun cool. too, because then you get all the views from the shiny hunting aspect. Yeah. So. Right. This Minchino just can you single. shiny hunt your starter though? I don't think so. Oh, obviously not, because you get Pikachu. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's shiny locked. Now you can find a wild shiny Pikachu, and you, you can, can apparently shiny hunt the the trade Pokemon. Um, like for example, you trade a uh, what is it, a, a Raichu for a a Lolan Raichu? Oh really? I didn't know you could shiny hunt those. Yeah, you can. Yeah, apparently they're not shiny locked. Actually, I've seen a video where they're not, and I, I want to say I think it was A Drive who did it. Oh wow. That's actually really cool. I would I would actually really like to go to a legitimate competitive tournament. Yeah, I, I think at some point in my life I'd love to. Um, but I think like the competitive tournaments that are played on um, kind of like with terms to like Pokemon Ooh. are different to... Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, hold up. Bright Time almost evolved by accident. Oh, no. You always got an SP. But who would it have been, though? Oh, it could have been a Sylveon, I suppose. Let me see. No, it, w- it would have definitely been an Espeon. Oh, would it? Okay. Yeah, but Bright Time is not an Espeon. Bright Time is a Jolteon. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? You and Bright Time were both in my stream when I shiny hunted uh, that Eevee. Oh, really? <laughs> and uh, we ended up, because of its nature, we ended up turning it into a uh, Espeon. Ooh. I really need to shiny hunt loads of EVs because EV is just... Well, we had the community day, and I think I got, like, one shiny. Yeah? Like, and I, I hunted for, like, two hours. Wow. I cool. still have one shiny EV on Pokemon Go. Um, but I think that's about it. How do you feel about going to the gym now? Uh, yeah, I could do that. I have... I don't have a level 25. And not all my Pokemon in party are level 20. Okay, I'll... So it's gonna be a little rough for the Phantom. Um, I need is this to my team? Decide what I'm doing with my team. Yeah. Uh, you can come out. Mm. You can go back in. You can come back in, you can stay out. I kind of want to put you there. Actually, I lied. Let me hit level 20 really quick with <laughs> at least two of these so I feel a little comfortable. Because I know I can do it really quick. Yeah. Um. I just removed everybody out of the team besides those two. I think that's the team that I want to go with. No, no, do not want to battle that random woman. Plenty of super potions in case things go awry. Yeah. That's good. I love that the, um, the bot I used to generate all the mons has given them all different Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. Which is really cool. 
I've seen that you can do some of them that where you can select what Pokeball they come in. Yeah. I mean, you can do some of you can do ones where you um can even like put your trainer ID on and everything. Oh wow. Right. I did a I'll tell you this. I found one of the hardest Pokeballs to get in Sword and Shield is the Savari Ball from Generation 4. Right, yeah. And I was fortunate enough to catch a Ghastly in that game, transfer it over, so now I have a, a, a competitive Gengar in a Safari Ball. Very nice. I love the, uh, the camo on there. Minchino is such a, a, a well, like, it looks like a Pokemon. Minchino looks like a Pokemon. Yeah. I would, did you see Minchino in Pokemon Snap? I don't remember. Um, I don't think it's in there. Hmm. I would like to have seen Minchino and Emolga go at it. Yes, actually, yeah, true. They look very similar. Alright, I'm gonna start heading into the gym. Okay, I'm right behind you. Nice. I can't okay. even remember what this gym challenge is. That weird little water puzzle. Oh, now I remember. To be fair, the intro scene is actually pretty cool. Oh, let me heal. Goodness, I almost didn't heal. <laughs> All right, I gotta make sure this is the team that we're, we're going against okay, in there. Make sure what's first. All right. We're adding the ones as seen on Pokey Links. Oh, I haven't. Updating my Poké Links, I don't think. <laughs> like, I haven't nice. updated it. <laughs> Completely forgot. Um, All right. Still got you two, I think. Let's just check my team first. I'll take the delay. Let's do it. Let's get in here, and we're gonna throw down. The, let's talk to the ball guy really quick. So get our free Poké Ball. The lure you ball, nice. On. I like how he's doing the sledding dance. And Are you ready for uh, Nicktoons All-Stars? The uh, Nickelodeon Super Smash Bros. game? What? I've not heard yeah. of this. Oh, <laughs> you have not heard of it? I haven't heard oh, of this. They released the the first roster. I feel like if it gets enough hype, we're going to see some more. Um, so they have, like, Reptar from the Rograts is in it. Oh, that's Reptar's really cool. representing Rograts. Um... Ah, uh, Monsters is in it. Um, you got Cat Dog is in it. Oh, uh, wow. Danny Phantom's in it. Um, the oh, Loud Family's in it. Uh, SpongeBob, Sandy, and Patrick are in it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, Ren and Stimpy are in it, and Powdered Toast Man. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Nigel Thornberry's in it. Oh, Nigel Formbury is my bay, one hundred percent. Smashing. Is he? Is he from the UK? Uh, yeah, I his... think he's got a British accent. Okay. Smashing. Yeah, yeah I think he's British. Yeah. He he is definitely he's in the game. Uh, who else? It's kind of insane in there. Um. See, I would go for Donnie. Yeah, see, I would love they didn't Donnie put him in there. He's not in there. He's not announced yet if he's going to be in there. I'm going to get the game. I have a lot of my friends who are like, I'm not getting that game. I'm like, dude, I'm totally... Just for the Sounds memes, pretty cool. it's going to be hilarious. Danny Enjoy. Phantom's in it. That's huge. Yeah. Um. 
you know, Ah Real Monsters. Uh, what's her name? I can't remember. This. I think Helga from Hey Arnold's gonna be in it. Oh wow! I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Helga. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm what other? Are they like? Is that like Timmy Turner or anything like from that series? Uh, like, yeah. I actually, who? One of them's in there. Is it Cosmo? I feel like it would be Cosmo. Is it Jordan Von Strangle? Oh, okay, yeah. I can't remember. I I want to say because I mean, obviously Butch, Butch Hartman's like super involved with his characters. Yeah. Um, and if Danny Phantom's in it, I'm I'm pretty sure that, uh, at least somebody from, Timmy, Timmy Turner's Turner. realm will be in it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I just cannot recall who. Okay, she did not want to battle. Track me in a vortex, Krabby. How dare you? Residual damage from the vortex. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Who else? I loved uh, that uh, Kingler got a G Max in this game. It did, yes. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, I need to. Avoid people. Ooh, poor fish. Oh, I did this puzzle the wrong way round. So I really like it. poor fish too. I love these kind of puzzles. I, I, you know what? For my the Pokemon game that I'm working on, um, I didn't do any gym puzzles. Oh, did you not? I just did it straight up, like go in there and throw hands. Oh wow. I could do warp tiles, but it takes forever. I can imagine, yes, yeah, sinking those all up would be oh, a goodness, massive pain. But I've always been a huge fan of just like the. I love the tournament bracket stuff. I love yeah. all that stuff. Um, see that right there should shut that off, which allows me to come over here to shut all this right. one off. It's time to head to Nessa. Nice. Oh, you're already there. Yeah. Shoot. I think I have one more to do. I got the blue there. I gotta get this red. I'm gonna try to avoid her. Alright, let's that. just turn off that one. I got the right person at first. Which is going to. Nope, nope we gotta yeah. get the battle. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. Let's throw these hands down. There you go. Rimmer Raid. Really wish I could have got a hold of a, a Thunderstone. Um, yeah, I need to find a stone soon. It is what it is. I could slap on a Leaf Stone, but it would be a terrible idea because of the nature. <laughs> So you're telling me that you've got a gloom. That is true. So I think that's the only one that has a split evolution that would involve a leaf stone. Yeah. You are way too perceptive. Yeah, but you said that before about Chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was DJ Spinder. Yeah, DJ Spinder was a completely different Pokemon than I thought it was. It was because you said about the Bright Powder. Yeah, no, I was like, oh, shoot, I found the Bright Powder. And then you said, right after I said that, you were like, oh, Chip is 100% uh, Grass, or, uh, um... Sinistee, yeah. Right. It makes sense to be Sinistee. <laughs> We're gonna hit this one. Yep. Perfect. I think we did it. Did we do it? Nope, we have to turn off this one. Oh, okay. Of course you get the flinch. There we Double go. Double flinch! Oh my you god. Uh, do, do you just see the water down here in her gym? Like, my goodness. I would love to go swimming in something like this. Oh, yeah. Alright, Nissa. 
going down for real. I believe Nessa has something that has max air strength. Um, the only thing that, because the only thing she'd max would be the dreadnought. Hmm. All right, we can do it. But the good thing about Dreadnought is it's four times weak to grass. Right. And it's pretty slight. I don't, I don't think, think she, she has it. Oh, oh, she, she definitely does have Dreadnought. Yeah, she it's has just not. It's Dreadnought. just not. It's not Gigantamax though. It's. I think it's G Max, but it might not be actually. I don't think it is. Well, I'll, I'll see in like 15 seconds. You know what would have been another good idea for Nessa? Yeah. I think, I really think Dreadnought should have been a dragon type. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, you're right. It's not, it's not Gigantamax. It's just D-Max. Hmm. Or, you know, what, you know what else it could have been though? It could have been a, uh, Water rock type, but have an ability that makes dragon type moves hit as if it's stab. That's kind of like Dalm Ice. Right. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, it does have max strike, which can level your speed. Hmm. Now that is a dead dreadnought. Toast, huh? Does Aracuda. I don't think Aracuda has Aerial Ace. Oh, and luckily I didn't hit 25 on anything. <laughs> yeah, right now I have one Mon at level 25. If it goes over, I can't use it. Yeah. Oh, it's not there yet. Alright, she's sitting out Dreadnought. We're about to D-Max. Or G-Max. Oh yeah, Dynamax. You killed all the other ones. I need you to do it here. Bam. That Aracuda, it got double... It, it bit me twice, and it flinched both times. Ooh. Like, that is the kind of luck that I have. There we go. Get up there, big boy. Who was your starter in... Uh... Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Oh, I think my... I played through it multiple times, but I think my original starter was Rowlet. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm i very, like, when you see the starters revealed, I'm like, I already know what Pokemon I'm picking. Yeah. Like, first gen for me was Charmander. Second was Totodile. Third was Trico. Fourth was uh, Turtwig. Fifth was Oshuat. Sixth was um, Froki. Okay. Seventh was uh, Rowlet, and eighth was Sobble. Nice. Which I like fire types. I like all the fire types, but Charmander was the only one that I was like, dude, one hundred percent. Wow, I killed it in one hit and didn't even like notice. <laughs> Sick. Oh, I cannot use one Pokemon that's in my team right now. Oh no! It broke the level barrier. So that, that will be a part of the pool that Midnight can KO if Midnight chooses, but I cannot bring it into the actual battle. Shoot. That's okay. I say I am doing a really impressive job of spinning around right now. Yeah? Oh, you're waiting? Okay, you're already done. Oh, yeah, shoot. Yeah, I'm done. I'm just, I'm okay. just waiting. But I've been spinning right, for a good 20 seconds. No. Oh, no, it stopped. Ah. Evolution. No evolution for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We are going to finish this up. All right, we're probably going to cut it, and I will reopen it right as we do our battle. Yep. Okay. All right, okay. It's double battle again, isn't it? Yes. And is it four this time? No, just still two. It's just still two, okay. Yep. All right, everybody, we are back. We are back. We're going to pick up on our team right here. This is the squad that we're using to take on Midnight for the second time. Can we pull off a dub in the Phantoms video today? Can we do it? We got to. We just got to. Um, we will see. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, Donald Tricks, you go. Ooh, your team is stacked over there. Alright, I think we're doing this. I think that's what we're doing. That's the team that we're doing. Yours is difficult. That's what we're doing right there. I think that's what we go with. Okay. I think that's what I'm going with. Okay. Come on. We can do it, squad. I believe there's only two Pokemon that you could have picked that might really make me cry. <laughs> and if you picked them both at the same time, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Let me see. Oh, you you picked one of them. I picked one of them. One of them. Oh, it didn't have Intimidate. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, squad. I believe in you, team. Yeah, I think that's what I call. Go, Mama! Okay. Oh, that's decent damage. Oh, it's so fast. That hit hard. Willow of the Wisp. I don't like it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's just do this really quick. I don't think we're going to be okay. Um... I have, I have a, a feeling. feeling. I have a feeling. Like, I need I you to do this. this. I need you to do this. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Okay. Did I out? Did is it enough? Oh, it's it enough. is. It is. Okay. Ooh, Mecha Lord. Okay. Okay. All right. Rock slide is gonna hurt. We cannot get the flinch. Do not flinch. Oh, that's a ton of damage. I was a crit. Mama got critted. Don't flinch. My disguise was broken. Mama, don't flinch. Mama, don't flinch. Oh. She didn't flinch. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe I'm no, not. Oh, <laughs> that's a that's a beast. That's I mean, a you beast. are burned as well. So. Right, that's true. You're absolutely right. That was a, that was a good hit right there. That was absolutely that was a, a good hit. hit. And you're fast. And I can't hit you with any of my uh, super effect, or I can't hit you with any of my uh, speedy moves. Uh -oh. Um. I wonder if you... I hope you are adamant. Oh, you're super fast! <laughs> okay, we're still there. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna oh, hurt a lot. Oh, I think okay. I've lost. Is it enough? Mama? Yeah, it's Mama! Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Mama, all right. Woo, that was a good match. Oh, man, <laughs> that was a good match. Woo, okay. Oh, you pulled right. it back. We pulled it back. We sure did. All right, now I get to pick... Uh, some Pokemon to get rid of. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of your Rotom. Okay. And can you can you read off your team for me one more time? Uh, yeah, so we've got uh, Tortle the Ivysaur, uh, mm -hmm. Mechalod the Rotom, Jellytop the uh, Tentacle, uh, Zimmer the Flacky, Tori the Taurus, and Nasher the Growlithe. Let's get rid of your Thwacky and your Rotom. Thwacky and Rotom, okay. Okay, I can I can deal with those ones dying. Thank you both, because you have worked very well on oh, this team. Uh, I'm going to change this name to Dead in capitals. Yeah, capital Dead. No, not Pox 31 Dead. <laughs> Just Dead, okay. Jeez. Oh, dear. All right. That was that was that was, that was a tough battle. That was a tough <laughs> that battle. That was intense. Um, if you guys did enjoy this, please, please, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. If you guys aren't already, why don't you subscribe to Midnight Wolf? You need to go check it out if you don't want to miss a single episode of the Warlock. Um, Midnight, you got anything to say for our viewers? Yeah, just please leave that like, subscribe, be prepared for me to take this back in our third match, and yeah. <laughs>
Right on. All right, you guys. I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you soon.